Hi FrostTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and I'm the Lancashire Stitcher. Today is Sunday the 23rd of April 2023, St George's Day here in England, uh, Patron Saint of England, and this is FrostTube number 69. If you're new here, welcome. This is a channel mainly about cross stitch, but I do include other crafts such as knitting and crochet, and I also talk about the walks I've been on recently. If you're returning, welcome back. It's lovely to be chatting with you all again. As you may be able to tell, I'm very wheezy again. Um, I've been like this since last Wednesday. Um, but I thought I need to do this video. Um, I don't have a chance during the week to do it. So I need to get it done. So it may just be a quick video. And we'll see how we go on with it. So yeah. Um, thank you to those people who, who mentioned that I seem to be much better in my last video. Um, I was feeling a lot better, but as you can tell, it's come back. Um, I think it's it's seven weeks since I stopped taking steroids and I think they've worked their way out in my system, so it's come back. But at the moment, I'm doing a peak four meter reading morning and night for two weeks and it's not good. <laughs> Um, so hopefully um, I'll get sorted out now. Um, yeah, I had the lung function test the other week and that came out normal. But that was a good day and I did tell the, the nurse that it was a good day that day. Which is why I'm now doing the peak floor readings. So we'll see how we go on. Um, I've got a few new starts. I don't have my usual weekly things. I don't have Lady of the Flag, Royal Holiday or my Mill Hill. I've just not touched them in the last two weeks. But I do have some whips to show you. Um, and I've got quite a bit of knitting to show you and some stash enhancement. And I've got a few watches to talk about. So let's make a start. So new starts. So I've made a start on this and be kind to one another by Needle Whip Press. I'm doing this as a, a sal, a stitch along, <clears throat> with Stitchy Sally and other people whose names I forgot. <laughs> I did mention them in my last video. So, yeah, this is the Be Kind Easter sal. So, yep. Yeah. And I've only done a little start. Um, I've got that. <laughs> uh, and B. So, yeah, that's as much as I've done on it. I was hoping to do some yesterday, but I didn't get a chance. I'll talk about yesterday later. But yeah, that's my start on there. Um, this fabric is vintage, vintage country mocker. I think it's thirty-two count. So yeah, my next new start is this one. Sorry, we're getting a bit of glare. Um, QS Spirit of Winter Robin by Heaven and Earth Designs. As I said before, I saw, I saw um, Dizzy Stitcher, Darren, doing this and I just loved it. So I had to get it. And that is my start. Let's get a board. There we go. So, yep. Yeah. I think I've done something like 2%. <laughs> so, yeah. That's my start. This fabric is 25 count easy guide by dmc in white that's that one i'm gonna put that down there actually because it's a bit big to put there. and then my next one is oop, that way hot cocoa and cookies by new york dreamer um i do have the cup to do this on um when i've finished so That is my start on that. I'm just loving the colours on this. It uses uh, Weeks Dyeworks and some DMCs. So, yeah, the the red is Louisiana hot sauce. So yeah, and then um, the the green, which actually looks blue on the picture on the front, is Isla Mirada. So it's a really nice design to stitch this. I do like stitching on it. 
So yeah, that's that one, hot cocoa and cookies. And then my next one is my dragon field note. And we're now on whips. <laughs> Done the new starts, this is whips. Dragon pardon me, Dragon Field Note by Unconventional X Stitch, a artwork by Hop Pardon me, Christopherson. And Oh, there we go. That is my progress. So, as you can see, I'm on this page down here. It's not far off finished. I do have some white um, outlining to do and a few, a few little bits of colour. And then I'm on the next page. So there we go. That's Dragonfield Knot. This is 25 Count Easy Guide by Zweigart in white. Yeah. And then my next one, I've not brought my picture up for this, but you've seen it before, is my Celtic Spring. Get my board again. Celtic Spring by Lavender and Lace. I'm doing a conversion. Um purple and green, or pink and green conversion. And that's my progress so far. As you can see, we've got the front edge here and then I've got a bit of a cuff there done as well so yeah that's Celtic Spring by Lavender and Lace this fabric is 28 count primrose even weave by Sparklies there we go that's that one and then the next one is At The Met by Mirabilia Getting a glare off the wing light today. There we go. And this is my progress. So, as you can see, she's got an arm. She's got part of another arm over here and some of her chest. This is being stitched on 32 count Aries fabric. Linen by Sparklies. There we go. And then my next one is Chatelaine's Egypt Garden. And I've done, I did a little bit on this this morning. That is my progress. And as you know, I did the wrong colour around the outside of the, the middle box. But I'm not undoing it all. It's unique to me. But I just love... I've worked in the centre this time. I just love the sparkle. I'm not sure if you're getting it, but there's a lot of um, treasure braid in that centre and a lot of beads, and it's going to be brilliant when it's finished. That centre square. So yeah, this is just this is 27 count white even weave. Yeah, and then. I've also worked on I by Light Unicorn Designs. I, do, I just do a little bit on this now and again. And put my board down somewhere. There we go. So I did a bit more of the black in the centre there and a little bit of brown. So yeah. This is just some 25 count white even weave. Yeah, and that is all my whips. As I said, I've not touched the Lady of the Flag. Um, I was walking last Sunday, um, the Sunday before. I was out with my son. I'm out with my son today, so I don't know if I'm going to get to stitch on her today. I will give it a go later when I've uploaded the video. So we'll see how we go on today. Um, and then Royal Holiday. Um. I was walking last Wednesday and then the Wednesday just gone is when I started with this and I was really bad. So yeah, I didn't, didn't do any stitching that day. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to do some more, but I am thinking of changing my Mill Hill Monday because I'm just not feeling it with the, whatever it's called, to all a good night. 
Um, I think I might just put that in my whip box and, and start a little Mill Hill thing just to get the, the bug back for the Mill Hill Monday. So, yeah. Oh, dear me. So, right, before I go on to my stash enhancement, um, I'm going to tell you about my plans for May. Um, I'm going to do something different in May. Um, I'm losing my bug a bit, mainly because of my chest, but also just... I don't know I don't know I think I've just got stuck in a rut and I need to do something to change to get my bug back a bit so what I'm going to do um I'm going to work on my whips now I have two boxes I'm going to show you this if I can lift it up high enough this this is one of my whip boxes it's a 35 litre really useful box and I have two of these that are full with whips so I'm going to take one downstairs and then every day in, well no every two days in May I'm going to get something out of the box I'm just going to put my hand in and pull out whatever I pull out and I'm going to work on it for two days I'm going to put this down because it's quite heavy um, and then after two days I pull out something else and work on that for two days so I've no idea what I'm going to be stitching on It'll be whatever comes out of the box. And there's no order to the boxes. They've just got different whips in them. So it depends which box I grab when I decide to take a box downstairs and what's in that box. And so they're not in order, any sort of order. They've just been thrown in there and that's it. So that's my plans for me. I'm not going to do the acrostic challenge. I'm probably not going to do Lady of the Fly Grow Holiday. Um, I'm not sure yet. We'll see how things go. Um, I just need a reset I think um, so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to get have a reset and just work on whips not make any plans as to what I'm stitching on just pull out of the box and stitch so that's my plans for me so yeah um, stash enhancement right so yesterday I went to Nimble Thimble um, the Nimble Thimble cross stitch shop um, in North Wales and there were 15 of us um, who went, including my daughter Sammy. She came with me. And we sat and stitched a little bit and we shopped. Um, it was a lovely day. Um, when I set off from here, it was raining, it was misty, there was a lot of surface water on the motorway. And then as we went down the M6, it got sunny. And blue sky so and that was what it was like for the rest of the day and then we came back up here and it was a bit gloomy but it wasn't raining then but yeah so it was a, a really nice day um chris at the nimble thimble had done food for us for lunch which was really nice including her famous pavlova if you've never had chris's pavlova you don't know what you're missing so <laughs> um <coughs> Um, it was nice to meet Jeanette. Um, I've been friends with Jeanette on Facebook for quite some time. And we actually got to meet yesterday, so that was nice. And she's actually given me some charts to use for giveaways. So I'm going to give one of those away today. Um, so, yeah, it was really nice to, to see everyone. And I bought some stash, of course. So... Um, the first things I'm going to show you are some um, thread keeps from my friend Hazel, who has pretty little thread keeps on Facebook. I'll show you this card, which has got her information on it. But it will also be in the description box below. So that's Hazel. And the first thing I got, which I just love, is... Let's see... A dragon eye. Can you see that? Oh my god, let's do that. There we go. A dragon eye. And then there's a little fairy castle on as well. I just love that. She had a few of these and I just I, I got them all out and picked which one I liked the best and got that one. So that's that, a dragon eye. And of course it's a bit small to go use for my threads for my dragon field note. Um, but yeah, it will be used. And then I also got, it's a set, 
so I'll show you this one this is the thread keep and it's it's a bee and then let's show you this little bee there's this little bee hanging on it as well so that's that's the thread keep but then there's also a scissor keep which is the same so it's got the bee and a little bee charm as well and then also a little zipper zipper pull so yeah with, that's just got the, the round bee on it so i got those as well from hazel she brings um a, a box with a lot of her things in that we get to choose from so yeah <laughs> so they're from hazel pretty little thread keeps and then from nimble thimble i got this sorry they're all in bags so we're gonna get going this is Norm Holding Gifts, which is a Mill Hill gym show kit, which I might start for Mill Hill Mondays, but then I've got a couple of others in the cupboard. I'm going to run out of space now. And then I got this. This is a Sue Hillis design, and it's called If the Shoe Fits, Wear It. Um, my daughter bought this, and I saw it, and then... Um, Kelly, um, one of the other ladies there, she's stitched this twice and she was showing us the pictures of it and it looked really nice, so I thought, yeah, I think I might have to get that, so I bought it. See, it's quite a quick stitch, apparently, so, yeah. And then I got this. This is called Coffee or Wine Today and it's by New York Dreamer. I'm getting a lot of glow. I'll read it to you. It says, give me coffee to change the things I can and wine to accept the things I can't and I just thought that's perfect for my mum so I'm going to stitch that for my mum and my daughter Sammy also bought this so I said I'll have to keep an eye out for a wooden board that we can finish them on to for hanging up so yeah so that's that one and then of course I had to buy some Erica Michaels berries these are winter berries I just love the sheep on this one that's that and then I do believe these have been out for quite some time but this is the first one I've bought this is Autumn Arbor I just love the colours in that so I'm getting glare on it but yeah the drawn thread apparently there's one for all the seasons so yeah that's Autumn Arbor and it's um it's a kit you get everything in it from Nimble Thimble all the special threads, the needle point silks and the fabric and the beads. That's all in there. I'm going to put those there now. And then this one is another drawn thread and it's another kit. And it's Have a Heart by the Drawn Thread. Now when I saw this, when I was looking through the drawn thread charts, like I told myself, don't look at the drawn thread charts. You've got loads of drawn threads, don't buy any more. Oh, I had a look at the drawn threads. So yeah. When I saw this in the in the on the shelf, I thought, oh, it's a bit dark. That red's a bit dark on there. But actually, it's not red, it's pink. And uh, Chris actually had a stitched version up on the wall, a framed version of it. And I, I saw it and I thought, oh, that's really nice. So that was it. I had to get it then. So have a heart by the drawn thread. Another kit. And then this one is one that Chris actually pulled out for me and said, I think you'll love this. Yep, I do. <laughs> um, the Needles Notion Bunny in a Basket. And that is so cute. That bunny is gorgeous. So, yeah. And the butterfly there as well on the basket. That is so cute. So, yeah, that's that one. And you get all the instructions for finishing it and everything. So, yeah. That is so cute. So, I've got that. That's just the chart. And then, of course, I have a grandson on the way. So I had to buy another stocking. You can't really see the design very well in this picture, but it basically it's it's and it's it's charted for DMC pearl cotton number five, and it's it's a Santa and he's got a jacket on that's got hearts on it. It's like a patchwork, and then there's hearts and stars underneath here. So it is it's really cute. So yeah, and you got the um, accessory pack. All the beads and things that go on it. So that's that's for grandchild number five, even though I'm still only on grandchild number two stocking. But yeah, <laughs> I now have enough stocking patterns for all my grandchildren. 
unless one of them decides to have another grandchild. <sighs> Hoping not. <laughs> so that was all my stash that I bought from Nimble Thimble. And then Jeanette also gave me this Bella Filipina Rosa Mystica. I just thought that's so nice. She gave, she said I could have this one. So yeah, that's a, another Bella Filipina I've got. So thank you, Jeanette, for that. And then I've also bought some things. Um, I bought and sent off an order to one two three stitch because I wanted some of these. The ball tip needles, easy guide ball tip needles. Um, last year when I was house sitting and I went to London, um, my friend Gretchen. No, it wasn't when I went to London. It was when we did the Mirabilia retreat. At the Mirabilia, Mirabilia retreat last year, the Norban retreat, um, Gretchen gave me one of these to try out, and I love it. I'm using it to to stitch my dragon. So um, when I went to Patchwork Rabbit a few months ago, I asked if they did, had these, and they didn't. And so I asked Gretchen about them, and she said she got them from 123 Stitch. So I thought, right, I shall order some. So you only get two in a packet, but yeah, I think they're perfect for doing things like um, the full coverage, you know, the things that you're doing over one um, on linen or even weave. So yeah, I've got some more of those. And then of course, they couldn't travel alone all the way from America. So I got this. Pardon me, it's Noel Quadriel by the Sweetheart Tree. You may remember I started the wedding Quadriel by the Sweetheart Tree in my 12 new starts in December. Um, so I saw this one and thought that's so nice. Um, so I ordered this, and you get the the little um, whatever they call I can't remember what they call my brain's fuzzed. So yeah, the little like sequin type things. That go on. So yeah, I got that. So you get the, the other side as well there. So you see the no well. <laughs> so yeah, so that's from one, two, three stitch. And then Chromatic Alchemy, we're doing a sale on the Facebook page. And I put my name down. Yeah, we basically had to put your name down on the ones you were interested in. And then she drew your names out. And apparently I got drawn eight for two. But I asked if I could just have the one. Um and I picked this one. Um, it's a lovely sea green. It's a nice green. It's 32 count eat linen and it's called Aquilo. A Q U I L O. So, yeah, that's my first piece of chromatic, al chromatic alchemy fabric. So, yeah, there we go. So, that's that. I'm, I'm thinking some sort of mermaid or sort of similar type of thing for that but i'm not sure yet so yeah so i've got that and then <coughs> um as you know i'm doing some things for the lancashire federation wi show which has a christmas theme and one of the things is to do an elf in any medium and i saw this on facebook and I thought, that's so cute. It's Ron and Nori designs on Etsy. And it's Christmas Elf. And I just love him. I thought I could do that and make it into a stand-up. So, yeah. So, that's my little Christmas Elf. So, yeah. There we go. So, that's all my stash. <laughs> stash enhancement. Um, Lots. Yeah. <laughs> And then I'll be going to Nimble Thimble again, as well as Create Nostalgia in June when I do the Wrexham Retreat at the beginning of June. So I'll be getting more stash. <coughs> so, let's go on to my knitting and crochet. I'll show the knitting and crochet and then I'll do the giveaway before I talk about the walks. So, where do we start? Let's start with the one you've seen before. <coughs> well, my chest is bad. I find it easier to knit or crochet than to cross stitch. I think because you can just do your knitting where the cross, cross stitch needs some actual thinking. <laughs> so, <coughs> so yeah. So basically, um, this is my I Heart Granny Squared 
blanket that I'm doing for my grandson, my new grandson. And I'm basically now on the raw. As you can see, that heart is now finished, this one. So I'm going to move my hand that way, that's it, and move this one this way. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's, the, I'm on that row now. So I've done this row. So I've got a row of finished hearts. I think I'm going to finish this row and then I'm going to do the border because it's plenty big enough now. I just need to finish it. But as you'll see, <coughs> there are other things going on now as well. So um, I've shown you my jumper before that I'm doing for my grandson. So this is the front. So as you know, I'm going to do, I've not brought the pattern with me. Um, I'm doing a wrap neck, which is why it's got such a big drop there. But this is the front, all finished off. And then I've started on the back. My light's dying, I think, and the sun keeps coming in. So we're getting going from light to dark. So yeah, so that's the part of the back that I'm doing. So yeah. So that's that one and then as for the wi show i'm also i've started doing i've got this book it's an old book i got it off ebay not so long ago um because um one of the ladies at the wi had it and i thought yeah i want to do that in there and i've put this piece of paper in to show me but i'm going to do where are we that way so i'm going to do this Santa so it's quite it's 12 inches tall when it's finished so yeah I'm going to do that Santa and then this is what I've done so far so this is basically is the body and then his face is going to be on here somewhere and basically you knit using two two strands of double knit yarn so it comes out quite thick so yeah, so that, it's not been knit, stitched up or anything at the back yet. So yeah, but that's the that's the body of of Santa. So that's that. We do um, a little craft group for the WI every two weeks. So um, that's where I've been doing that. And then I've also started something. <laughs> mm. So I've had this book for a long time, Unicorns and Dragons. Um, I bought it quite a while ago because I just love this dragon. And I, I'm, I've started crocheting this dragon. I started it the other day in, at the Knit and Natter group because nobody came because um, some of the schools are still off here. Um, so I think the people who, were, who come to my Knit and Natter group, they've still got grandchildren who were off school, so they were looking after them. So anyway, so I started crocheting this dragon and I'm using this yarn, which is Stylecraft Naturals Bamboo and Cotton Double Knit. Um, and I'm doing it in this colour. Instead of green, I'm making it a purple, purple dragon. And that basically, you might be able to see, we've got his... That's his, his um, this is his head basically, and that's his nose and mouth bit. And then we're moving down. So, yeah. Um, the colour is Mulberry, shade 7250. So, yeah. Um, and then I've got some other colours to add bits to. But, yeah, that's, that's what I've started doing recently. But, yeah. <laughs> Um, I won't be doing it at the knit and natter um, when there's people there because yeah you just because I can't say this amigurumi <laughs> when you're doing this making ties using the amigurumi method you're just doing rounds you're not doing you're not joining them or anything which is why the stitch markers are there um, so you know where the row starts um, and so you you constant you counting stitches a lot. Um, but yeah, so it won't be being done when there's people at the, the knit and natter. But yeah, there we go. So that's my little dragon. <coughs> so 
So yeah, so that's my knitting, I think. Yeah, I've shown you all my knitting. That's my knitting and crochet. Right, so <coughs> next thing is my giveaway. So as I said, um, Jeanette very kindly gave me some charts and this is one of them. My light's definitely dying. So yeah, this is Teresa Wensler uh, Mermaid. And I just love Teresa Wensler designs, but they are so detailed. And I know Blitz Stitch likes stitching them. I've seen them on his videos. But yeah, I just couldn't. Yeah, it's a, it looks too detailed for me, too confetti heavy. So I'm going to give this away. Um, it's quite a, it's a, the charts, if I show you, it's, a, it's sort of like folded inside. It's a massive chart and then there's staples and there are a couple of rust marks where the staples are, but I don't think it will affect the chart. So if you'd like to win this, please say the word mermaid, M-E-R-M-A-I-D, mermaid. By before when I do my next video, my next video will be on either the 6th or 7th of May, which is the King's Coronation Weekend. Um, so please comment by the 5th of May. Um, and then I'll draw an name out um, to win this. See, the sun's gone in again now. Because one minute it's brilliant sunshine and then it goes dark and my light's dying to death. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, so please be over 18 so you can give me your home address. Please don't say the word draw, giveaway, win, free, anything like that in your comment. You don't have to say a, a sentence, you can just put the word mermaid, it's fine. Um, please remember that I will not comment on your comment. If anybody comments on your comment, please do not respond to them because it's not me. Um, and yeah. I'll draw that on my next video. That's a giveaway. Right. Um, and I do, I'm really sorry. I do still have a couple of giveaways to send out in the post. So if you've not received it yet, I am really sorry. I will get them in the post. Um, and I don't remember seeing an email for the last one. I'll check. I will check. Um, but yeah. Um, right. So walks. In the last two weeks, I've done three walks. I should have done more than that, but for obvious reasons, I haven't. <laughs> so, let's start with the walk I did a couple of weeks ago, which was from Greenfield near Oldham. Um, it was a 10 mile walk. Um, it was a lovely walk. It was hard. It was a difficult walk. We had snow, we had sunshine, we had rain. We had wind <laughs> um, and it was the weekend it was during the week after we'd had the fantastic weather at the weekend where i'd actually caught the sun and we were having snow showers it was really odd um but we saw highland cattle on the walk i'll put the pictures at the end like i've done the last two last couple of videos um we had lots of hills some uh, there was uh, one hill i've struggled with i had to have my inhaler as we were going up it because I really struggled with it. Um, but then there was an obelisk at the top of the hill and there was a, some rock formations that are called pots and pans. Um, it was a lovely walk. I really enjoyed the walk. It was just really hard. And even some of the other walkers said it was a hard walk. So, yeah, it was, it was lots to see on that walk. And then last weekend I did two walks. I did a walk from Clowbridge near Burnley. Um, it was a five mile walk. We went to a thing called Comston's Cross, which is a stone cross um, up on the moors, which people used to go to years in years gone by. Um, and we also saw what the remains of what was an old hamlet um, called Gambleside. Um, basically, there were just ruins of houses and things, and there was um, like a baptistry where people used to get baptised in, in the, the water, which must have been freezing. Um, and then um, when we finished that walk, we had a nice pub lunch. It was the last Saturday pub lunch walk until later in the year. They, they changed to Thursday nights in May. So, and it's not a pub lunch, obviously. It's just a walk, and then you can go in the pub for a drink. 
So yeah, that was nice. And then last Saturday, last Sunday, I did a walk from Stacksteads, which is a place near Baycop in Lancashire. It was only four and a half miles. It was it was listed as a six mile walk, but it ended up only four and a half miles. Um, and that was over the moors, um, but it was a nice walk. Um, it was quite warm. Um, we did have a bit of a cool wind on the way back down. You basically went uphill and then across and then back down. Um, but yeah, it was an, a lovely walk. Nice scenery. You could see the hills in the distance. So yeah, they're my walks that I've been on. I should have been on a 12-mile walk on Wednesday, but for obvious reasons, I didn't get to go on it. And I should have been on a walk today, but for obvious reasons, obvious reasons I've not been on it. So yeah. So yeah. Um, there my walks. So I'll put a little slideshow at the end, like I've done in the last couple of videos. And then, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to go on in the next few weeks for walks. I'll see what happens with my chest. Hopefully I'm going to get sorted out now because this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I think I've shown you everything that I wanted to show you and talked about what I wanted to talk about. Um, so my next video is going to be on the 6th or 7th of May. Not sure which of those days it'll be. Can't, I don't know what I'm doing that weekend. Um, like I say, it's the King's Coronation weekend. Um, it's a bank holiday weekend, but I know we're not going anywhere, so I'm, it depends if I'm on a walk or anything like that. So, have a good two weeks. Take care of yourselves and those you love. Be kind always. And happy stitching. <laughs>